Hey, Shalom, Shalom. First off, I'd like to say, Call Halal, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, I'd like to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Uh, also, would like to say peace, blessings, and salutations to the hopeful elect, the brothers, the Akim that's pushing his word in all sincerity and faith throughout the four corners of the earth. For the Aqua, the sisters who watch and sincerely believe, Shalom to you as well. Shalom to the new fruit, the new viewership, the new uh, believers coming into this faith. Because right now it's high time to awake out of sleep. And there's a calling card for the election of the Most High while we have this time of grace. And that window of grace is going to be closed and faster and faster day for day. Because we can already see through the Spirit these days is flying by fast, but for the elect's sake. Because like it says in Matthew 24, unless the Most High shorten those days for the elect's sake, there will be no flesh to be saved. Loosely paraphrasing, why? Because sin has reached a level to where the Most High is about to intervene. So those of the nation of Israel, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans that have heard this word, if you believe, it's time to act in faith on that belief. And you don't necessarily have to be uh, set up in the school of the, the prophets, the men that are set out to teach, but the Lord is dealing with helps, whatever capacity to help forth this word and seal the election of the nation of Israel, all right? And any uh, good deal is usually going to be for a limited time only. So right now, the, 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 the windows of grace are open, but that time is, is going to uh, draw nigh faster and faster. But before I ramble on, I'll, I'll, I'll allow the precepts to talk, the scriptures. I'm going to start off here in the book of First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 1. It says, but of the seasons and the times, Salakia, but of the times and the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you, because you're supposed to be watching the time. Like it says in Second Ezra 9, we're supposed to be measuring the times diligently in itself. What's that mean? Watching out for prophecies, paying attention to what's going on. Not getting caught up in the folly on the internet, but if you're using the internet, it should be to get information. You know, checking out things that's going on in these uh, third world countries and realizing according to biblical prophecy, it's the most high's will that's going to ultimately lead to World War III, okay? And among other prophecies, that's what we're ultimately supposed to be looking for, things happening on the earth that uh, you can filter through prophecy to know that we're that much more closer to the time of our salvation, for the time of the destruction of wickedness. It says, I'll read it again, 1 Thessalonians 5 and 1, but of the times and the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you, for yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. And this backs up 2 Peter the third chapter. The day of the Lord is going to come when you least expect it, like a thief in the night. So a lot of people are going to get caught off guard because they're not paying attention to the signs and the tokens that the Most High is showing from the heavens, okay? And right now, I guess I'm mainly talking to you Israelites who are perceived through the Spirit. It's a lot of people that are just lackadaisical and not even doing nothing. You got Israelites that so-called believe, but they're on the fence. They're lukewarm. They won't make a decision. But pretty soon, the Most High is going to make a decision for you, okay? Because we've had a, uh, enough, the apostles and elders that taught us, I've had enough with people coming on the comment board, Shalawan, brothers, good job. It's, you're going to have to participate in this thing to show your faith if you want to be delivered, if you want to be reserved from this destruction, or else you're going to get caught off guard like a thief in the night. And we know that that's going to happen to the majority of this people in the world in general, but even to two-thirds of our own people. Uh, 1 Thessalonians 5 and 3, it says, For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. So a lot of people, they're in, they feel a, a heightened sense of security, you know, because this society, especially here in Babylon, the great America, you know, is up and running, full throttle. This is a first world nation, okay? You still have law enforcement, you know, in certain sectors of this society running heavily and People feel a, la a layer of protection, especially these women. That's why right now they're allowed to be out of order and just get out of pocket in a society that was built by men. But pretty soon we're going to come to the times where that breakdown and that layer of protection is not going to be there for them, and they're going to have to deal with the elements. That's why the scriptures talk about in Isaiah 4 and 1, we always go into that prophecy, uh, seven women shall take hold of one man, because there's a lot of women getting evicted, 
there's a lot of bad situations happening to a lot of these wicked women that are without a covering. They don't have a husband. They don't have any male guidance. So they're just running around according to their own imagination, just going completely off. But not to get on that, but everybody's going to get caught off guard. Even you wicked niggas, you guys that's preaching false doctrines, that know that you're Israelites, man. Okay, because judgment is going to begin at the house of the Most High, meaning the Lord's own people who know that they're Israelites, but they're teaching the wrong thing. They're leading our people astray. You niggas are going to get caught off guard because you feel a sense of security. I know our apostles and elders and bishops, they always go into Bishop Nathaniel, but I wasn't there with the old school, but I could just see it pursuant to the doctrine that we've been taught. He's going off, man, because he feels a sense of security. But, you know, that's another example of he's going to get caught off guard, okay? It says, Then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall, and they shall not escape. So a lot of our people, they're going to be without escape. If you're not under cover of the covering of the Lord, you're going to be without escape. Verse 4 says, But ye, brethren, are not in darkness, that that day should overtake you as a thief. So brothers that are pushing this word the right way, you know, in all manner of sincerity, being upright brothers, we're not going to get caught off guard, man. Wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of our times. But, I mean, that's pretty much the point in that. But just more so speaking to people that's kind of just spectating from the sideline, want to always get on the comment board, but not actively participate in this thing, okay? You're going to get caught off guard. The Lord hates those that are lukewarm. You're going to get spewed out, like it says in what, Revelation, the third chapter, or the second chapter. But um, I'm going to get this real quick in, in Ecclesiastes 12. It says, remember now. And I'm going to emphasize that word now. Remember now the, thy creator in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come not. Let's look up that word now. Because time is of the essence when it comes to salvation during this time of grace, man. You know, people want to just uh, procrastinate on the Lord. And we're not in the time to do that. Hold on, I think I just missed it. Now. Salaki, I was trying to get that word now. For some reason, my blue letter is kind of acting funny right now. I don't know why it does this from time to time. Let's see. Okay. So in the Hebrew, it's zakar. And that word, it means to remember, recall, call to mind. And like Peter said, the Lord is staring our pure minds back to remembrance of this word, knowing who we once and always were as a people, the Israelites, man, coming out of the ways of Babylon that we've through, you know, captivity, we've lost our heritage, so to speak. So that's what that word now means, man. That's why this calling is of such urgency. We're trying to call our people to back to who they were, as being Israelites, who they are, okay? Knowing that there's a dietary law. There's certain things. Of course, we don't think that the law is going to justify or save us, but we, our people have completely lost any boundaries, any standard, any rules of engagement, Okay. So I'm looking up that word now. It says to remember, recall, call to mind, to cause to remember, to remind, okay, to take a memorial. And Israel, the nation of Israel, we're supposed to be the monument of the Most High's memorial. So it's, if, if, if you can hear this word, if you believe you're an Israelite, man, you got to actively participate in all integrity and sincerity, man, because we're that much more closer to destruction, all out hell just playing out on the earth, man. Things are going to happen more systematically with the economy collapsing. And then, of course, we always go into the karagma spoken of in Revelation 13 and 16, that thing that everybody's going to have to receive to be able to buy and sell. These things are coming, man. And even brothers that truly believe, our level of comfort is going to go away because we're going to have to stand stiffly for the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. And everything that, that that name embodies as far as the will of the Heavenly Father is being concerned through prophecy. But Ecclesiastes 12 and 1, it says, Remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come not, nor the years draw nigh when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. And really that's just the point I want to get. We, we have a heightened sense of urgency 
that needs to be partaken of if you believe that you're an Israelite, if you've heard the message, especially from the true prophets, man. And we know that that would be the men of Great Millstone, the apostles, elders, okay? And any man for that, you know, that's teaching the correct doctrine according to prophecy, teaching Yahweh Shah, pushing those names of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shah, who this world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. We're always going to for understanding. So it's time to get into this thing now, man, and not just play with it. I'm going to read this real quick. This is, uh, I'm going to get right to the point. This is uh, Sirach or Ecclesiasticus chapter 5, and this is the Apocrypha, which the Apocrypha is a part of the uh, original 1611 King James Version Bible. But this is uh, Ecclesiasticus chapter 5, verse 7. It says, Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord, and put not off from day to day. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. So that's the point being made. Everybody feels a sense of security, even me to some degree. You know, because you got law enforcement. You know, you got things that can basically... Uh, What's the word I'm looking for? Uh, it can mitigate uh, bad behavior. Basically, uh, just all-out chaos behavior, you know? But we're coming into the time of, of complete chaos, man, as this society collapsed. So you can't take every day for granted, okay? What a, a difference a day makes. A lot can happen in just a day, and we always going to, man, the Lord is speeding up these times. So... Right now, if like I said, if you believe in this thing, it's, it's, it's more than just the Shalawans, which if you're sincere and you're just learning, I'm not saying that you can't come on the comment board and, you know, and, 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 and encourage brothers. But don't be cheerleaders. We don't need no cheerleaders in this thing, man. We need people that are going to work with their own hands, like it says in the scriptures, okay? Work out their own salvation with fear and trembling. Give diligence to make your calling an election, sure, while we still have a time of grace. So with all being said, this is just exhortation for those I perceive that are, are, are spectating but haven't really fully made a decision about what they believe in to stand on that belief, okay, instead of like the Elder Harry Allen was going into making this a barbershop conversation, just trying to sound smart in front, of, in front of your family, friends, and stuff like that. If you believe that you're an Israelite, if you believe – you know, what you're, you're being taught as far as those that are teaching the correct way, it's time to at least come out to the camp, support, okay? So with all being said, Lord willing and certified, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim Rakakwadash, double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, Shalom, peace and blessings to the elect.